Good afternoon, every pony. This is We Are Borg here at Everfree Northwest 2014. I'm here with the lovely Heather Newfer. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm fantastic. A little bit tired. Concert exhausting. Uh, how have you enjoyed it so far? So far, it's been fantastic. This is only your second pony convention. This is so. only my second pony convention. So um, the everybody here has been really nice and sort of nice and laid back, uh, which I need. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. So you do writing mm -hmm. for the My Little Pony comic series. I do. As well as a number of other things. Yes. So... Let's talk about the My Little Pony first. So you did the rarity arc. I did. And uh, possibly some more in the future. Yes. And um, what was what was your favorite part about the rarity arc? Um, probably doing the Nightmare Rarity arc really made me be able to um, kind of get inside one of my favorite characters' heads. Oh. And, and be able to uh, sort of, you know, I love rarity. I've always wanted kind of just more of her. So it was great to be able to kind of think how she thinks and really put myself in there and make her have kind of a big adventure. Now, was it your idea for it to be Rarity? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. That was, uh, you were, you were probably like, yes, Rarity. Like, you didn't even <laughs> consider the other characters. Yeah, yeah. They We um, had originally talked when we started the comic about um, doing a Return of Nightmare Moon. Mm -hmm. And um, I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. uh, so I proposed, think, thinking no one would ever go for it. Like, like, I was like, hey, guys, what if we had Rarity? turn into like her own nightmare version, thinking I would get a no, like a flat out no from everybody and it ended up, everybody was cool with it, so. Excellent, yeah. excellent. So what are your, what would you consider your other highlights in, in writing? Um, outside of ponies. Outside of ponies. Outside of ponies, all right. Um, I write tons of licensed stuff, um, probably, the most popular things right now are Monster High, and um, I started doing uh, Vampire Diaries mm -hmm. and um, Scooby-Doo uh, and uh, Lisa Simpson comic recently. So um, pretty much, if, if you can think of it, I probably <laughs> probably wrote for it in licensed comics at this point. I know uh, one, of the, one of the things I was looking at that you uh, had some credits for was uh, a Fraggle Rock comic. Yeah, that was the very first comic I ever wrote. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It was um, uh, the first time anything Fraggle had come out in about 25 years. And uh, I randomly kind of got um, picked up into it and it took off and kind of launched me into a career writing comic books. Interesting. Yeah. Is that's so that kind of launched your career right there. Yeah. That's that's fantastic. Was the how was the reception on that comic? Um, it was great. Uh, uh, I had never. Um, imagined having a career writing comic books. Um, I had written, uh, wanted to be in film and television and ended up, uh, the formatting for comics and, and scripts isn't that different. Um, mm -hmm. And I uh, always was super creative and super into anything Henson. Um, nice. <laughs> so, uh, so I wrote it uh, expecting to be like, you know, issue 65 or something like away in the future and they ended up making it their the very first issue um, so it got a lot of attention and um, ended up being really well received um, I know a lot of people who uh, watch My Little Pony are actually general fans of animation mm -hmm. they, they absolutely you know love a variety of different shows whether it be anime maybe even some Littlest Pet Shop mm -hmm. um, and you know that same love for animation extends up to movies um, like How to Train Your Dragon. Yes. Which I believe you've also helped write a comic for? Yeah, yeah. Um, we worked on um, a How to Train Your Dra Dragon comic, uh, gosh, about a year ago um, that still hasn't come out. Oh, Odd wow. Oddly enough, um, sometimes, you know, wheels get a little uh, slow in the comic book industry. So hopefully in the future that'll be, that'll be coming out, um, especially with the super popularity of it. Can you tell us how many issues that one has? Um, I don't know how many how many oh. they did oh, okay. uh, or how many they have kind of in the can. Um, but it was a really great um, series starting out. So hopefully everybody will get to see it soon. Excellent, excellent. Um, so if 
if you didn't get into writing, what do you think you would have gotten into? This is a big what if. It's a big what if. Um, I would probably live in the middle of nowhere and have like a dog rescue or something like that. <laughs> I, I kind of polar opposites. The only things I like are writing and dogs, really. That's cool. You yeah. be a little bit of a Fluttershy. A little bit, yeah. Little bit yeah. I, I, um, in my younger days, I worked as a, a dog walker and dog trainer for years and years. So it's a passion. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, dogs. That's that's pretty good. That's, <laughs> that's pretty good. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I love dogs. I love okay. Dogs, so so um, your second My Little Pony convention, mm -hmm. and uh, have you had a good response from? Have you had like real fans come up to you and be like, "Oh my gosh, I love I love your Nightmare Rarity," and yeah, I it, can't wait. To, you know, see what you do next. It's and, been. Um, I guess you kind of when you write, you sort of live in a bubble where you don't honestly think, you know, you get lots of tweets and things like that, mm -hmm. but you don't ever really encounter too many people who read your stuff. So um, it kind of, of kind of blew my mind when I went to uh, BabsCon and there are people with, you know, Nightmare Rarity plushies or, or art and people actually knew what I did. Um, so I was, I was nervous when that arc was coming out just because I'd done something so different with a character that people love so much. Um, but the reception for it has been fantastic and the fans have been Phenomenal. That's great to hear. Great to hear. Um, all right. So uh, one last question for you. Sure. If you had, um, if you were going to write another comic series, mm -hmm. you know, a, a what if, um, who do you, what, what character do you think you would uh, maybe pick on this time? Cool. What, what, you know, something, it doesn't even have to be one of the main six ponies. Like, you know, the first thing that comes to my mind is I really love something with gummy. Can we? Can we do? Oh yeah. Can we do like a, a gummy comic? That can would we be... do like a, a, a wordless comic that's like a gummy <laughs> adventure? Like I would really love that. <laughs> that is amazing. Though I don't know how much I would have to do if, if there weren't any words. So maybe it'd be the easiest comic. <laughs> the I'd ever easiest write. comic to write. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for joining me. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, again, this is uh, Heather Newfer, and I am We Are Bork with Ponyville Live. Uh, see you next time.